Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. How many of you have ever tried to do something that was really hard or had a dream you struggled to achieve? In today's story, Tommy dreams of winning a big race at his school. And after facing setbacks, he has two choices, give up or try harder. Let's enjoy the magic of reading as we read together. Tommy Wants to Win, written by Brooks Washako and illustrated by Luis Foster. And join Tommy as he learns that hard work and perseverance really do pay off. Tomorrow is the big day, thought Tommy excitedly. It was the first big race at his school, and he couldn't wait to compete. School race tomorrow. Every year, the school hosted three races. This year, Tommy wanted to run faster than everyone else and win a race. Not only did he want to win, he needed to win. He needed to prove to himself that he could do anything he set his mind to. I can do anything I want. Tommy dreamed about standing on the top of the podium with everyone clapping and cheering. I can do this, he told his reflection in the bathroom mirror. The first big race was tomorrow, and Tommy was ready. On your mark, get set, go! His gym teacher shouted and blew the whistle. Tommy sped off. He was fast. He was ahead of all his friends on the track. He was moving faster than everyone, until he wasn't. Tommy was tired. He was slowing down. He started off too fast and just couldn't keep up the pace. He fell behind all his friends and he lost. He got last place. Tommy wasn't sad, though. He had so much fun racing with his friends, but he still wanted to win. What do I need to do to win the next race? He asked himself. Tommy went home and ran 50 laps around his backyard. What are you doing? His dad asked. I'm training for the next big race, Tommy told him. I want to win. Tommy trained like this for a whole month. It was hard work, but he felt stronger and faster every day. The second big race was tomorrow. Tommy went to bed with determination. I can do this, he told himself. On your mark, get set, go, yelled his gym teacher. Tommy sped off. He was fast. He was ahead of all his friends on the track. He was moving faster than everyone. Until he wasn't. Tommy still couldn't keep up the pace. His friend Emma passed him right before the finish line, and he lost. But this time, he didn't get last place. Tommy cheered for Emma, but he still felt a little disappointed. He had worked so hard, but he hadn't won. It's okay, Tommy told himself. I just need to work even harder to win the third and final race. Tommy ran home from school. He laced up his running shoes and he headed to the backyard once again to train. This time, he did a hundred laps. He was exhausted, but he knew that his hard work would pay off. He did this every day for a month. The third big race was tomorrow. 
Tommy went to bed with more determination than ever. I can do this, he promised himself. On your mark, get set, go, yelled his gym teacher. Tommy sped off. He was fast. He was ahead of all his friends on the track. He was moving faster than everyone, and he stayed there. He ran faster and faster and kept the pace right to the finish line. Finally, Tommy won. He came in first place. He was thrilled. He got to stand on the top of the podium just like he dreamed he would. I won, he shouted. All his friends clapped and cheered. That moment was everything he had hoped for and more. Winning the race was something he would remember forever, and it proved to Tommy that he could do anything he set his mind to. If you enjoyed Tommy Wants to Win, be sure to check it out at your local library or buy a copy for yourself from your favorite bookstore. If you enjoyed this read aloud video, please give it a thumbs up and become an official bookworm and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy the magic of reading.